let us solve another get uh, problem uh, on the binary search tree. So, here is the problem you see. A binary search tree contains the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The tree is traversed in pre order and the values are printed out. Which of the following sequences is the valid output? We know that in case of binary search tree, if you go for the in order traversal, that means we will be getting the shorted data. So, that means the list of values, whatever they are giving, is nothing but the in order traversal of the binary search tree. So, one in order traversal is given and four pre order traversals are given. I shall have to tell that which pre order traversal is the valid one. So, how to solve this one? We can analyze the pre order traversals. See, I am getting one parity. Parity here is that first is 5 and the second one is 3 for all the options. So, that is a key for me. So, as the first uh, node is 5, that means 5 is the root node. So, from here I am getting this idea that it will be the left subtree and it will be the right subtree. So, from there I can infer. So, now this association 1, 2, 3, 4 must be coming in some order. Are you getting 1, 2, 3, 4 here? Yes. And this options are you getting? But here you see this 1, 2, 3, 4, this option is not, they are not clustered and say 6, 7, 8, they are not clustered. So, this option cannot be the choice. So, I have discarded that one. So, I am remaining with rest 3. So, now go for this 3. So, as 3 is the, should be the root node that is the left child of the root node or the root node of the left subtree. So, that is why I can put this brackets look in there. So, that means 1, 2 should come and then 4 will come. So, yes it is 1, 2 and 4. It is 1, 2 and 4 sorry I should not consider this one. This is 1, 2 no this option is also not there. So, that is why this 1, 2 should come in a cluster this 1, 2 should come in a cluster but that is not the sin they are taking 2 and 4. So, 2 and 4 cannot come in this way because it is a pre order traversal. So, I am discarding this one. So, I shall not consider this and this. So, I shall consider the rest 2. Okay. Now, see if you consider this 6, 7, 8, if you consider this 6, 7, 8, here I am getting 4, here also I am getting 4. So, that is one parity I am getting. So, that is 1, 2. So, this part is okay, this part is same. So, from there I cannot distinguish. So, now come to this. 7, 8, 6 and 7, 6, uh, 8. So, I think in case of 7, if 7 is the root node, then 6 can be the left child and 8 can be the right child. So, that is why this is the correct one and it cannot happen. It cannot happen. So, this is the correct one. So, my option will be going for D. So, that is the answer. So, if you ask me to draw the tree here, I can draw it in this way. So, 5 will be the root. 3 it will be 1 4 and that will be 2 here I am getting from here and from here I can easily write this ok now I am going for this one so it will be like 7 and then 8 and that will be 6 so that is the actual tree there so I shall be going for the option number D so option number D is the correct one in this way just going for partitioning this nodes into the left subtree right subtree and root and in this way you can easily solve such problems. Thanks for watching this video.